here from printcutandcreate.com and today our, is Wednesday and it means it's time for our hybrid hump day to, uh, video and today's video isn't so much a uh, hybrid card as it is uh, a technique that I've been seeing and a trend I've been seeing in cards and we're going to add it to a card a little bit later but what I want to show you is hat pins. Now, I don't know if you've been noticing, but I sure have, that a lot of these uh, card making demonstrations and a lot of uh, magazines are featuring cards with hat pins stuck in the, the embellishments. And I think it's really, really cute. So I saw in some online shops, I've seen um, hat pins that are being made available in a lot of the craft shops for scrapbooks and for um, card making. But a lot of them are really, either really, really plain like pearls, just all pearls, or they were really tacky looking and I didn't, they were kind of fakey, plasticky looking things that I wasn't really too wild about. Um, so what I decided is to make my own. So today that's what I'm showing you here. Um, I've made all of these hat pins and basically what I've done is I've taken some of my trusty craft wire. I've got some different colors here. I've unraveled some and as I unravel it, I try to straighten it out. And I snip a piece off with my craft wire cutter. And then I've done the following things. First up on this side here is I've added beads to the end. I've just added some glue and then just stuck, stuck a bead and then let it dry. And uh, you've got yourself some really nice hat pins and you can use any kind of bead you want. I've got a nice collection here. Oops spilling them all over. I've got a nice collection here of beads. Just pick something that will match your project. I've got wooden ones, pearl ones if that's what you like, or some big giant ones, square ones, round ones. So they're really, there's really endless, you know, an endless thing you can do with beads on the end for your hat pins. Um, the next ones here I used stickles and this is a craft glue. And uh, what I did is I have a non-stick non craft sheet and I've just put down just a couple blobs of, of color of the, of the glue and uh, made sure they were in some sort of shape and then just to let them dry. Now the one good thing about these is that they, they're great for posting if, your cards because they, when they're dry they end up being flat. So if you see they're really, really flat. If you're posting your cards, you won't have any beads or really large dimensionals uh, causing problems ripping your envelopes or getting stuck in the postal machines, which we don't want to have done. So they're really good for if you're posting your cards to add something like this as an embellishment. Also, this other one's the same way. And this one, I used glossy accents. And basically all I did is I took my same nonstick craft sheet and I made two circular puddles of glossy accents excuse me, glossy accents, and then stuck the wire in. And this first one, I let it dry, and after I dried, I took one of my Copic markers and colored it purple. Uh, you can color it anything you want. You can draw a little picture on it if you want, or do what you did on this one. I have uh, go ahead and, while it was partially dry, I let it dry a little bit. And then what I did is I added a flat back jewel to it, and then it dried and it looks kind of like a lollipop. Now these last ones are the one I'm the most proudest of, and that's because they're paper beads. And what I've done is I took, uh, I've made paper beads, I'm sure you've seen the instructions on how to create your own paper beads. You just take long strips of paper, uh, wider on one end and very narrow on the other, and you just roll them up, and you just keep rolling them up till you get to the very, 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 very end. You pull it tight, and you end up with a bead. Now the longer and thinner your bead, the more rounder your bead will be. Um, so I rolled it up and rolled it up and rolled it up and then what I did with this one is I added some pin flare, pin flare craft glaze to it to make it shiny. Um, it needs another coat but uh, to make it a little bit more shiny but uh, at least it keeps it also keeps it all together really really nice. And then this other paper bead it was I made it more square and I just used blue, just blue cardstock, rolled it all up, and I covered it with this blue glitter glue and just covered the outside. And then I added a flat back gem to the top of it. 
So there's what I made for some of these hat pins and they're really really easy to make. If you want to use a needle you could use a needle just cut the sharp tip off if you got real long needles and you can use just glue a bead on the end of that for a hat pin. Now what I've got here is we've started a card. Now this is the hybrid part of the tool uh, of today's video. Um, what I've done is this is a um, printable sheets that I've created. It's a, it's a little printable sheet kit that I've got. I'll put a link to it in my blog on the blog post. And basically it's two backing papers and then a pyramage of a little Cupid boy. And uh, it's got two toppers as well, a blank one and one for the wet for a wedding. And then I just cut them out, stacked them up, stacked up the layers and added some glitter. Now what I also made was a topper for this. Now I've, I've done this all in advance. I've just taken three um, paper, uh, paper Mania flowers and I used uh, white ones and brown ones and just glued, used glue dots to glue them all together along with a little plastic flower and some glitter or glitter to match the edge and then just also glued on a ribbon tied in a like a breast cancer knot. So I've glued them all together so they're like a cluster and we're just going to go ahead and place them on the card. And I'm just going to use a glue dot here and uh, place it on the back. Now we're going to stick this on here. I'm going to kind of put it at an angle here. There we go. It's all set. And now what we want to do is we want to take a one of our hat pins, and I've got this one here that I've made with a nice, uh, nice glittery bead on it, and we're going to add it to our card. Now first I'm going to go ahead and just add a little bit of glue to the bottom of this. Don't need a lot if you've got good glue. And then just find a place to stick it. It's not going in very well. There we go. Think of when you use craft wire, you can't stick it in too much because if you do, it'll bend the wire. So you want to kind of avoid that as much as possible. So I'm going to add a little bit more glue just to keep it down here. Just make sure that it stays down. And we're also going to press the flower back down on top so it'll all stay. Okay, arrange your hat pin on there how you like. And there you go. We've got a card, we've got a hat pin, we've got a homemade hat pin, and uh, some ribbon, flowers, glitter. We've got a perfect card for a wedding. Um, so there we go. We're all done for today. It was a, a relatively quick video on how to make hat pins and how to add them to your hybrid projects. Um, I would love to see if you use hat pins in your cards. So if you've got a blog link or a Flickr link or anything like that. I'd love to see your pictures of your hat pin projects. So leave a link on my blog or leave a comment on YouTube with your blog link and I'll certainly have a look. Well, thank you for joining me today. I hope you learned something. I hope you had fun because I know I did. I loved making all these hat pins. They were so much fun to do and I think you'll find them fun too. So we'll see you next week and have a good weekend. Thanks for joining me. Bye!